Hey, welcome to my long-awaited Valorant optimization guide along with my preferred Valorant settings. Before we do anything on Valorant, we're going to be working on optimizing the windows so our game decisions are as smooth and as distraction-free. First, turn off Xbox Game Bar, one of many culprits when it comes to slowing down your PC. The reason being is it kind of just bogs down your PC by adding a way to save clips and all that. We then head to our graphics settings, turning on hardware accelerated GPU, essentially reduces some of the load from the CPU and in CPU bound games like Valorant it can be the reason to gain a large FPS boost. Below that we want to be adding Valorant by hitting browse and finding where it's located. For most of us it should be on our C drive, Riot Games, Valorant, Live and set it to high performance. I also did the same for Valorant Win64 Shipping which is located in Shooter Games, Binaries, Win64s and towards the bottom and also setting it to um, high performance. Next up we go to where Valorant is stored which is in our C drive, in my case Riot Games, Valorant, Live and right click on, on Valorant selecting properties. From here we head over to compatibility making sure everything is unchecked except for disable full screen optimization and then clicking on change high DPI settings. From from there we're just going to be selecting override high dpi scaling next part may seem scary but don't worry we're just going to be pressing the windows plus r or searching run in the windows search bar and type in app data valorant saved config and here are all the accounts played on this system i still don't know which is what account but if you're unsure just repeat the process across the ones that start with a bunch of numbers starting off with the first one we're going to be opening windows then opening game user settings and there's going to be a section called scalability groups we're going to be replacing all the threes with zero exactly how you see on the screen reason being whenever you choose low settings in manner it doesn't really force it changing from three to zero forces the game to go to the lowest graphical settings let's head over to power and sleep options followed by additional power settings and then selecting ultimate performance which helps reduce micro latencies but do keep in mind that it does use more power next up head over to background apps and set it to off this stops background apps from running in the background eating away and adding unnecessary input like also make sure you have 10 percent free space where Valorant is located for those of you on nvidia gpus head over to the nvidia control panel by right clicking on your desktop and selecting control panel sorry amd users now that you're here select user 3d advanced image settings options so you can have a greater degree of customizability as opposed to letting it decide for us then head to manage 3d settings and here are all the settings that have have been chosen purely for Valorant. The main option I recommend for everyone is selecting a fixed refresh on monitor technology using preferred maximum performance on power management, um, selecting high performance on shader quality and finally turning off VSync. If you're wondering how I get my colors so vivid and saturated, it's mainly because of my editing in post-production. What you can do is max out the digital vibrance in adjust desktop colors and also bump up brightness. Let's load up Valorant. Once it's loaded, tab out and open task manager. From here, we're going to be clicking on the drop down menu by right Right clicking on Valorant and selecting go to details. Then right clicking on Valorant and Win64, hovering over set priority and choosing high. Doing the same for Valorant.exe. The only issue is you have to do this every time when you start up Valorant but that's where Lasso, a third party program comes in handy. It runs in the background and whenever you launch Valorant it automatically has it set to high. Once you've downloaded Lasso and have Valorant running in the background, scroll down till you see Valorant Win64, right clicking, then CPU priority, then always, and then high. And also doing the same for Valorant.exe. Let's tap back to Valorant and most of the settings that I've decided to use is because it works well with my PC and offers the least input lag possible. Firstly, never play Valorant in windowed mode. That shit will add unnecessary input lag. Either choose full screen or windowed full screen. For FPS, I uncapped it because it feels the smoothest, but your mileage may vary, which is why I recommend to test out a bunch of numbers for maybe 75 hertz, 144 hertz, 165 hertz, 390, etc. and etc. to see what suits you and your PC. For those of you that have the Nvidia Reflex settings on, set to at least on or on plus boost to help reduce input lag but if you want a better um, explanation check out riot news video now head to graphics quality i have multi-core rendering on which allows you to use more of the cpu cores and if this option is there definitely have it on and i set everything to the lowest quality possible apart from bloom bloom has that glow effect on guns and abilities Bloom is a great setting, but you know what's better? Actually ranking up from iron, bronze, silver, and gold. And if you agree, check out this video. And as always, until next time.